Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ira. I just wanted to quickly update you all on my testosterone stuff. Um, but yeah, so as of December 17th, I've been on testosterone for a year and a half now. Um, very inconsistently. I, for example, right now am eight days late on my shot. That being said, I've learned that being late on my shot means that I'll break out and that I get really depressed, like I uh, talked about previously. Um, but yeah, other than that, not much has really changed the the pattern of my facial hair is changing. I'm growing it more on my cheeks, but not that much. Um, it's definitely all coming in as a neck beard, um, or well, I guess an underneath my chin beard. Uh, mostly coming in here, I have sideburns. Um, in terms of, wow, <laughs> in terms of shaving, I don't ever shave everything at once. Um, and the reason is because I've also learned that, you know, despite muscle growth and, um, oh yeah, that was one thing that I want to say, my muscles have grown, uh, but I've also been working out for the last nine days. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, I've also, and I've also lost a lot of weight on, not on purpose, but, um, yeah, anyway, uh, with said weight loss and with testosterone, with like the fat redistribution redistribution and stuff, I've also gotten to be a lot more veiny. Um, like I can, on the underside of my arm, I can see them go like all the way up my bicep, uh, which is weird because I never used to be able to do that before, and I kind of like it. <laughs> anyway, um, but despite like fat redistribution, muscle growth, my voice, uh, well, not necessarily my voice, that's not taken into account here. Um, my jaw looking different, my just my face looking completely, not completely different, but very different than before. Um, like today at work, because I work in a movie theater, I was in the concession stand, and a customer comes up and he was like, don't take this the wrong way, dude. <laughs> yeah, don't take this the wrong way, dude, but uh, I totally thought you were a girl before I saw your peach fuzz. And he, he didn't do any of this, that's my... That, 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 that's my emphasis, <laughs> um, but but yeah, and that was that was really distressing and upsetting and kind of fucked up my day. But it just sucks to know that, like after a year and a half, I'm still not always perceived as male unless I have facial hair. And even then, sometimes I get misgendered, especially like if they're if they're looking at me through a window. Um, you know, like for example, at a box office, like the people who sell you your tickets. I, I get misgendered there a lot, uh, but it's, and I don't like the idea of like my having to look a certain way in order to be treated a certain way. Um, I, I look the way that I do because I want to. Um, my hair, like for example, my haircut is not exactly the most masculine haircut in the world. Uh, and I don't dress incredibly masculinely either. I don't talk or gesture in a very masculine fashion. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that. Um, I do what I want, regardless of misgendering, and it's taken a lot for me to get to this place, and a lot of hormones for me to get to this place, but, uh, yeah, and, like, I don't necessarily like the idea of being seen as male, but being perceived as male is the closest thing that I can get, and so what I do want, what, I don't even know, I don't even know how to put words to that, and, and it just sucks that it doesn't happen all the time. Um, that being said, on a more uplifting note, one thing that I was really afraid about before t uh, starting testosterone was <clears throat> how my voice would come out. Uh, I didn't even know what I didn't, like, I don't even know, looking back, what I didn't want it to sound like. I just, I just remember I had read a blog post by Dirt, you know, like, the most fucking sexist person on the face of the earth, almost. Uh, and, and she had said some really ableist and to sexist things about trans men on testosterone, about all their voices having, you know, a monolithic tone, and and just like, uh, sorry, my age, it's just, but, hey mom, but just like all trans men have voices that sound like this marginalized, disabled group, and <clears throat> and therefore it is bad, right? And that was just. Something I was really afraid of, not because I was afraid to sound like a marginalized group of people that I have privilege over, but 
because I, I just, I just didn't want Dirk to be right because she says a lot of really terrible things. And I just didn't want her to be right about me because I, I was new at my, in my identity and I was new to coming out and I was starting to testosterone soon and I was just afraid of a lot of things. I was afraid of getting a lot of body hair. I was afraid of not being happy with the changes and and it's funny because like I'm I'm really affirming of a lot of things that are now new to my body that I wouldn't have been affirming of before uh, before testosterone. But that's a different discussion. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because Dirt said that like all trans men aren't attractive, that all <clears throat> that all trans men have weird voices, that all trans men are you know are short and such and so forth. And you know, I'm not gonna pretend to be tall, like I am short, but my entire family, my entire biological family is short, so I wasn't expecting to be tall regardless. Like my biological brother who is cisgender and I are about the same size, so I'm really not worried about that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I get a lot of compliments on my voice now, uh, online and offline. Um, people who meet me for the first time, people who don't know me, people who, uh, people who come into contact with me through my job, um, will just random, randomly compliment me on my voice. Uh, I was working door at my job once, <clears throat> and door is the person who tears your tickets and tells you where to go, and, you know, I was just like, Hey there, good morning, how you doing? And this guy comes up to me, because he wants to get inside. <laughs> and he's like, you have a nice voice. And like, he actually, he actually talks like that. <laughs> and so yeah, he says, you have a nice voice. Are you a singer? <laughs> and I was just like, in the, sh in the shower. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, I knew it. I knew you could be a singer. You have such a nice voice. <laughs> and if, and it was just, it was funny and adorable and really refreshing and reaffirming um, because I had gone from having a really high, like squeaky, cute voice to, not to say that my voice isn't cute now, I'm just saying, um, to having a voice that was like quiet and forced um, because I was, I was sick and tired of being misgendered and so I tried to make my voice sound deeper and I just hated talking like that all the time. and to going from starting testosterone and not seeing any changes with my voice and being disappointed with that to literally having my voice cracked fucking incessantly for like over a month <laughs> um, to slowly having a nice, you know, a nice voice. Um, and by nice I just mean a voice that I'm happy with and I'm happy with, you know, what my voice is. I know a lot of folks are dysphoric about their voices and their voice may sound exactly like my voice, you know. Um, that that would totally creep me out to meet someone who has like the same voice as me. But um, aside from that, like obviously everyone's feelings are valid, and dysphoria is always valid. Um, and I don't know why I'm not dysphoric about my voice, and I don't know what about my voice that I'm happy about, and I don't know what about it other people like. But um, but I'm just happy that Dirt's fucking wrong. <laughs> Basically, I'm just happy that that she didn't sway my transition at all that I didn't let her get the best of me. Um, and, yeah, on that note, like, to trans folks who are really deeply and heavily effect affected by cis sexist douchebags, like, that's not, I just want to say that that's not your fault. Like, you can only, we can only do so much. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. <laughs> So, I will see you all later. Thank you for watching, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>